He goes to prison. He's in a wheelchair, from what I understand. He's old. Then they move him to this federal pr prison in West Virginia. And he's there 24 hours, one day. Now, I don't know if they knew he was coming in or what, but he's in general population. And while he's in general population, a couple of guys that have video footage, they wheeled him to a place where nobody could see. He was out of the sight of the cameras. And they bludgeoned him to death. They had a lock inside of a sock, and they just beat the heck out of him. I hear he was unrecognizable. That's how bad they got. And, you know, so the question is, why did they put him in that West Virginia facility? It was a bad place to begin with. They know the notoriety that he has. I mean, they don't like notoriety normally in the Bureau of Prisons because they don't want no trouble. They want people just to do their time. They don't want no trouble. They want the least work they can possibly have. They don't want to fill out papers. They don't want to have to answer questions. They don't want investigations. They want no trouble.